Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your Sacramento area realtor. Today I'm sitting with a buddy of mine and an excellent lender in the Sacramento area, Matt Gouget. Thanks for coming on today, Matt. Hey, I wanted to ask you a question. Why, when I refer a buyer to you, do you guys ask for all of the documentation up front. Um, it seems like a lot of lenders out there, they'll just kind of wing it and, hey, tell me some numbers, what's your income roughly, and they'll just go off of kind of some numbers and then they'll just spit out a pre-approval letter. I've noticed that you guys and your team are way more thorough up front as far as we want all the documentation, W-2, tax returns, pay stubs, all that stuff. Uh, explain that why. That's an awesome question, dude. Um, this, this is something that we've developed and it's really been developed for first and foremost, the buyer's benefit. And when you're getting pre-approved as a buyer, you want to know with absolute certainty, you can get a loan done. And a lot of folks are, you know, a little bit hesitant or they push back and like, Hey, why do you need this? Hey, why do you need that? We want to do our best to protect our clients. And the best way to protect them is to have a full package and know with absolute certainty, we can get a loan done for them because like I explained to clients, once you get into contract, you might pay for an inspection, you might pay for an appraisal, you'll get through this process, and unfortunately, if there's you know some big tech lenders and things out there that are doing a less thorough job, you've seen it, I've seen it, we've, we've all seen it, we've heard those horror stories where you're three weeks, three weeks into contract and you can't get a deal done. And I've gotten those phone calls where, hey, you know, my lender dropped the ball, can you help me out? And I look at the whole scenario and it becomes fairly clear, really right off the bat that this lender didn't do their, their due diligence. They didn't do a proper job of vetting this because based on your employment and how you get paid and if you're self-employed, how you file your taxes, you just don't qualify. So, you know, we can add a COBAR, we can do something, but that is the work that should have got done up front. And so we are doing a thorough job for the buyer's benefit we're asking them for not only all the documentation, but then on our side internally, we're ordering a verification of employment that comes from the employer and says, here's your salary, here's your bonus, here's your commission. We're gonna calculate it based on what a lender is going to calculate the income as. And you know, I, I see, like you said, so many of those lenders that just say, oh, you made 74,000 last year? Cool, we'll just divide that by 12, that's your monthly income. Not taken into consideration, that's not how lenders do it. Lenders say how much of that is base, how much of that is commission, how much of that is bonus. And then if there's variables in there, you might have to take a two-year average of the bonus, you might have to take a two-year average of the commission and then add the base to it. And so there's, there's different layers and mortgage guidelines are straightforward, but they're not flexible. You know, you might have a buyer that um, because of their, their change in how they get paid or their change in, in profession are, you know, on, on paper looking at it or if you did a really lackluster job, might say 84,000 equals 7,000 per month. Well, it's not that easy. Based on how lenders look at it, it might be 5,800 a month and then it changes how much you qualify for. You're in contract at 440, you really only qualify for a purchase price up to 395 or whatever it is. So um, I think whether it's us or whether it's anybody else, something that buyers should know is provide a lender with as much documentation as possible up front. It's going to make the loan process a lot smoother. It's going to make bumps in the road or any unforeseen stuff avoidable. And, and really, when I talk to people, we're spending time effort, energy, resources to order these things, to pull your credit, to really get you in a, in a position. People aren't, you know, once they do this and get pre-approved, they're not required to use us. And so it's, it's truly for the client's benefit. And it's so that, you know, they don't get surprised later, have something fall out of contract. Cause that, nobody wants that. The agent doesn't want that. The lender doesn't want that. I would hope that a buyer doesn't want to go through that. Cause that could be, you know, it could be terrible. They could spend upwards of a thousand dollars or so yeah for sure I totally agree so if if ultimately if you're just starting the process or you're in the middle of the process and you've gotten pre-approved and the lender really didn't ask for a lot of stuff from you you should be weary of that person you should be a little concerned especially if it was just some random online website or something some lender 
online, who knows who you're talking to, what they're doing or anything, you should be concerned if that person is not asking for a lot of stuff up front. You do the heavy lifting on the mortgage up front. And as you as a buyer, it's not costing you anything. You're not committed to that person. It's that lender that's using their time and energy and resources. You should really want someone that's willing to put in the time and energy up front to make sure that you are dialed in as a buyer. It's going to be put you in a position to make a more competitive offer because you can have a quicker close of escrow time frame. It's just going to help everything all the way through the process. So thanks for explaining that. If you're looking to dig further into kind of a pre-approval or something, feel free to reach out to Matt. Him and his team will take care of you. They'll get you that list on everything that they want from you. And they'll really get you dialed in and not just kind of sort of your pre-approved kind of thing. And we'll figure it out later. Let me, add, let, me add, let me add one more thing too. Not only are we going to protect you from unforeseen stuff, but by getting that full package and that full file, we're able to really tailor a mortgage that works best for you. The more we know, the more we can advise at a high level and a very specific level based on everything we have and everything we know. This is a mortgage that probably fits best for you. We can lay out those options, but you know, it's, it's truly for the client's benefit. We're going to be able to, to really dig in and give you specific high level mortgage advice. That's good. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out to Matt for any mortgage needs. You can reach out to me for any buying or selling needs in the Sacramento area. Hope you're doing well. We'll talk to you soon and clear skies. Thank you.